Alzheimer and symptoms. Millions of people are diagnosed annually of Alzheimer's disease. The disease often targets elderly people, such as those over 60 years of age. Alzheimer's disease progresses to dementia, which the disease could be inherited, since doctors found that RNA and DNA abnormalities linked to the disorder. A head injury, or high blood pressure could put one in the high-risk bracket. The disease is currently studied in depth, since experts have not found a cause or cure for the disorder. Doctors often use microscopic tests to view the brain tissue after a person dies. This is the only way at present that doctors can determine a cause. Alzheimer's disease is a series of brain disorder that affects the intellectual functions, such as memory, thinking, and behavior. The disease will begin degenerating, the intellectual functions, which rests at the frontal lobes and temporal lobes of the brain. How do doctors discover symptoms? Symptoms of Alzheimer's and or dementia disease are hard to detect at first, since the disease sneaks in. The disease takes a person through three stages, and during each stage, the symptoms progress at different levels. At first, you may think the patient is showing aging signs, yet in time, the person will show shifts in personality. The person may wander and get lost. Often the person will forget things, misplace items, and find it hard to perform common tasks. During progressing stages, the person finds it more and more difficult to function. Short-term memory is lost first, which gradually steals the long-term memories. The long-term memories, such as early childhood is frequently brought up. The patient may not recognize common faces, such as loved ones. As the disease progresses to stage 2, the patient will display behavior problems. The problems worsen. The patient may argue, strike out violently, etc. Often the patient feels depressed, or superficially happy. Once depression sets in the patient goes into his or her own world. The doors are shut to outsiders. As the disease progresses the person will rely more and more on a caregiver to help them change clothes, bath, eat, etc. How do doctors prevent the progression of Alzheimer's disease? The doctor will test the patient. Once a diagnostic is returned, the expert will consider effective medications to help the patient. Treatment is the start of change. In short, everyone involved, including the patient will have to adapt to new lifestyles. How can I protect my loved one at home? Lock up all medications and cleaning supplies. Any dangerous chemicals should be locked up as well. If you have throw rugs around the house, remove them. You will need to take down all mirrors. If the patient sees him or herself in the mirror, it may frighten them. The environment should be safe proof and comfortable. How can I prepare? You can prepare by setting up a support group. You will need someone to talk to, especially someone who understands what you are going through. Don't try to go it alone. How can I choose helpful tactics to minimize the suffering? Your loved one may benefit from vitamins or herbs. Herbs should be approved by FDA, as well, you should consult with your doctor. Doctors found that vitamin E is useful in slowing Alzheimer's disease. As well, studies have proved that ginkgo biloba can slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Vitamin B9 and B12 is useful as well. The vitamins will support blood flow, which ceases as Alzheimer's disease progresses. Ginkgo biloba is great for improving memory, since the herbs improve flow of blood to the brain. How do doctors choose medications? Doctors often consider Cognex, Reminol, Exelon, and Aricept. Aricept is one of the better medications that have proven to slow progressive Alzheimer's disorder. Some of the meds can cause serious side effects, such as liver damage. Painkillers, such as Tylenol is known to cause liver damage. Doctors will prescribe painkillers, so discuss the regimens with your doctor. Alzheimer the brain killer. How to care for Alzheimer's disease. Doctors often prescribe medications to treat Alzheimer's disease, yet some of the medicines prescribed are hazardous. If your loved one has Alzheimer's it is wise to discuss medications and side effects with your doctor. Alzheimer's disease develops in the mild stage, progresses to the moderate stage, and finally to the severe stage. Alzheimer's disease affects the patient's eating habits, as well as his or her drinking habits. The patient's appetite will change dramatically as the disease progresses. Sometimes the patient may feel a need for more calories. Your doctor may recommend supplements. 
Since the brain is degenerating, the patient will need lots of liquids to prevent dehydration. You may need to remind the patient when to drink. How do doctors protect patients with Alzheimer? Alzheimer's Association has put high demands on doctors, requesting that all patients diagnosed with the condition Alzheimer must wear an ID bracelet. Since Alzheimer's disease causes memory loss, the patient may wander away and get lost. If someone sees the confused patient, the Samaritan can look at the bracelet to locate an address. Alzheimer's disease is a brain killer. The disease slowly shrinks the brain, wearing down the tissues, nerve cells, nerve fibers, spine, etc. As the disease slowly deteriorates the brain, it weakens the muscles. The condition puts the patient at high risk of falling. How do doctors know if the disease is progressing? Doctors consider symptoms. If the symptoms are worsening, then likely the disease is progressing. How do doctors take measures to slow the progression? After the disease progresses, doctors can only do so much. The patient will die in a matter of time. The disease only allows the average patient to live up to 12 years, yet as it reaches the severe stage, likely the patient will die shortly. Doctors continue to test, prescribe medications, etc. The patient likely will need nursing home assistance. How do nursing homes take care of Alzheimer's disease? Nursing staff rely on doctors. On staff, doctors will perform random checks. Most of the patients are locked down to prevent danger. The patient is in a special unit whereas close observation is giving. It depends on the nursing home, but the staff may encourage socializing, activities, exercise, etc. Most times however as the disease progresses to severe stage, the patient will become lost. In short, the patient may cease talking, walking, eating, drinking, etc. How do you prepare at the severe stage? Realize the patient is not far from death. The disease at this point has completely ate the brain, which the patient does not have senses, intellectual functions, emotional response, and so on. The patient is dying. There is nothing you can do at this time to prepare, since you should have prepared at the mild stage. How does the patient feel at the severe stage? It may be a comfort to know that the patient does not feel pain, since the senses are demolished. At this stage, the patient could fall and break a leg and never know what occurred. He or she will not feel pain. Is the death horrible for the patient? Death is horrible for anyone? Alzheimer's patients have an advantage in this area, such they do not know what is happening to them. They do not fear death, since the ability to show emotional response is gone. In some instances however, the patient may vomit violently until they pass. The patient may vomit whitish phlegm. How do I prevent Alzheimer? You can take steps to avert Alzheimer disease. Finding out if you have the disease early can help you take measures to slow the disorder. Economy and Alzheimer. How the economy affects the mind. Recent studies have showed that Alzheimer's disease is accelerating. The cause is linked to education, health care, social, and economy. Lack of education alone can diminish the changes of a person noting symptoms that link to Alzheimer's disease. Social avoidance is another interest that piqued the interest of experts. Experts feel that those who do not socialize often may develop symptoms of Alzheimer. Healthcare faults are a leading cause as to why the figure of Alzheimer's disease is climbing the ladder. Expert tells us that cures are available, especially if symptoms are noted early. Yet, healthcare costs make it impossible for some people to seek proper medical care. For this reason, healthcare experts who focus on senior citizens are shaking their hind legs to find alternatives. Alzheimer's forms as dementia, the condition can cause the acceleration of progeroid syndrome. Progeroid syndrome prompts early aging signs that increase dramatically. This means that the lifespan is shortened. Ironically, Alzheimer's disease targets the older generation of people, yet the syndrome progeroid will affect young children, causing them to bald, hunchback, or accelerate aging. Hutchinson-Gilford syndrome is a form of progeria, which is linked to Alzheimer's disease. In addition, Werner's syndrome is also linked to Alzheimer. Likely if the patient is diagnosed with Werner's disease, later he will be diagnosed with Down syndrome, and finally Alzheimer. As you can see, Alzheimer is a series of disorders. Alzheimer is the relative to progeroid syndrome. How does Down syndrome cause Alzheimer? 
Down syndrome will speed up the aging process. The disorder targets insulin, glucose, etc., which is where we get our source of energy. Sugar within glucose promotes fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. If the region is disturbed, it can cause the blood vessels to intolerance. Slowly the disease will affect the body. Down syndrome unfortunately can cause cancer, or bone disease. Down syndrome causes the patients to lose hair. The condition can also lead to premature death. Down syndrome targets the CNS, central nervous system. The patient may become retarded. The disease causes the brain to deteriorate, which Alzheimer's disease develops and gradually progresses to dementia. How is the disease controlled? Early detections are useful. If symptoms are spotted early, the doctor may find a cure, or treatments to slow the disease. How do healthcare experts help? Proven records show that those who communicate effectively with their health care provider can live longer and happier. Patients with Alzheimer disease, at the early stage should talk often with their provider, as well as participate in care. The patient should visit his or her medical experts frequently. Sister diseases will often counteract the other, which can make the condition more threatening. According to experts, if a doctor can detect the warnings early, it is possible to cure the disease. How do doctors cure the disease? I am not sure. I believe they use medications, ginkgo biloba, vitamins, fish oil, etc. to cure the disease. Experts found that particular vitamins, ginkgo biloba, fish oil, fruits, vegetables, etc. have proven useful in slowing Alzheimer's symptoms. How do doctors handle the patient? Doctors are aware that the patient will suffer short-term memory loss at first. The doctor may calmly explain in details to the patient what he or she needs to do. Family members should participate to assist the patient. In fact, having family members present is smart, since the patient could walk out the door and forget every word his doctor said. Alzheimer's disease is a series of disorders, yet in many cases, the patient had no apparent medical condition, such as heart disease that causes suffering. Yet, strokes and heart disease is linked to Alzheimer. Alzheimer and Down syndrome. Alzheimer disease AD, is a series of conditions that sometimes include Down syndrome. The common disorder of AD is dementia. At this stage the condition usually spreads. Alzheimer disease will slowly diminish the intellectual functions. The characteristics of Alzheimer's disease differ from individual, since some people will have types of disease that cause retardation, while others may not. AD will destroy the brain tissues, which gradually destroys brain cells, etc. The condition causes the brain to collapse at the severe stage. Alzheimer's disease at the mild stage does not completely disable the patient. During the mild stage the patient can feed, bathe, or handle small tasks on their own. As Alzheimer's disease progresses to the moderate stage, the patient then will feel more confused. Senile tangles may set up at this stage. How does the condition cause damage? The disease will cause damage, since it shrinks the brain. During the mature stage, deficiencies will increase. The condition will cause the person to develop epidemics of plaque residue. The disease at this time starts to cause the patient to lose microscopic strands of neurofibrillary. At this phase cell bodies, dendrites, and axon, nerve cells, become tangled. How is Alzheimer disease related to dementia? Alzheimer's disease slowly becomes dementia. Dementia is the severe stage of the disease, which the condition affects the cognitive mind and begins to deteriorate the intellectual function. Dementia is a progressive disorder that deteriorates the brain tissues at fast rates. How dementia does affect the person? The patient will experience frequent memory loss. The condition causes the patient to lose time, place, names, and so on. Dementia affects the intellectual functions, cognitive functions, etc., which the brain complications cause a series of problems, since mobility is out of control. The senses are restrained. How old is a person when Alzheimer symptoms start? Around 65% of the elderly population is diagnosed with dementia also have Alzheimer. The disease usually affects people 60 years of age or older. People in the age group 85 years and up are at high risk of Alzheimer. In fact, around 30% of the elderly people in this group are diagnosed Alzheimer's disease. How many people in America each year are diagnosed with Alzheimer? 
Statistics say that around 4 million people in America are diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. A.D. How long will the patient live? Presently there is no cure for the disease, unless symptoms are caught earlier. If the symptoms are not caught early, the average patient diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease will have around 12 years to live. How do people care for Alzheimer patients? Patients diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease are kept in safe environments. The environment should also be stable. Moving furniture, pictures, etc. can confuse the patient. Experts recommend that patients with Alzheimer reside in familiar surroundings at all times. Plans can help the patient with orientation. How does a person help them to remember? Triggers are the top actions that spark the emotions. Triggers can include posters, pictures, notes, etc. Placing the notes, posters and pictures, etc. in areas that an Alzheimer patient may frequent can assist with memory. How are the patients protected? Alzheimer Association demands that all Alzheimer patients wear an ID bracelet. Families will often protect the patient by hiding car keys. Alzheimer patients may go for a drive and fail to return for hours. They often cannot remember where they are going or how to get to the location. Alzheimer disease has affected millions of people in the U.S. alone. The condition is spreading to the U.K., as well as various other lands. Alzheimer disease is a backwards action, i.e. the condition causes the person to shrink back to infancy, finally killing the soul. Stability and Alzheimer disease AD. How stability helps. Stability is essential for all of us, yet more so for those diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Stability promotes strength of character. Experts tell us, if you keep patients diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or dementia stable it helps them to remember, which keeps them safe. Stability includes adhering to scheduled meal times, sleep, unwavering bathing practices and so forth. Plans are an essential part of life as well. Plans are our graph in life that helps us to arrange, organize, and sketch images in our minds. When planning for Alzheimer patients try to add things that help them remember, such as large clocks, calendars and so forth. The large numbers can help them to remember details that may ordinary forget. Do I stay up all night to watch my loved one? No, if the patient has difficulty sleeping at night and you fear he or she may wander, put a nightlight in his or her pathway. Patients with Alzheimer's disease fear the dark. The light may help him or her to sleep. Once you set up your plans, frequently remind your loved one. Plans set the grounds for stability. A stable environment is a safe environment. If your loved one has stages of Alzheimer, it is wise to block them from using the stove. One woman almost burn up had her granddaughter did not find her, since she put newspaper in the oven. The house was smoking, so at most she could have died of smoke inhalation, or carbon inhalation. If you have throw rugs around the house, remove the rugs. The patient can easily fall as Alzheimer's disease progresses. How do loved ones cope with Alzheimer's disease? Caregivers will struggle to maintain mental and physical well-being. Caregivers should seek a support line. The support line should be someone to talk to, someone who can fill in to take weight off the giver, and so forth. Caregivers should exercise, eat right, and take care of their health. When a person is stressed, it causes emotional charges. You may feel hate toward the Alzheimer patient and take it out on them. Keep stress at bay. How Alzheimer patients cope. For the most part, during the first stage the patient feels that he or she is getting old. The patient may not recognize his or her condition. As the disease progresses however, the patient will find it difficult to handle common tasks. In addition, the person will forget more frequently, which the symptoms will cause depression. It is important to allow the patient to express his or her feelings. While it is helpful to allow Alzheimer patients to express their feelings, it is also wise to caution yourself when speaking. If you ask an Alzheimer patient to repeat something said, it could lead to biting, kicking, yelling, cussing, and so forth. Alzheimer patients do not mean to, yet many will become aggressive and violent in later stage. How does the disease make them violent or aggressive? Think about it, if your brain was shrinking and you had to struggle to remember names, address, etc., how you would feel. If you had to tear down the area to find your car keys each time you wanted to drive, what would you feel? 
The condition shrinks the mind of the person back to infancy, slowly killing the person. How would you feel? If you had to repeat something repeatedly, what results would arise? Alzheimer's disease causes brain deterioration symptoms, which destroys brain tissues, cells, nerves, etc. The disease is a killer that needs defined. Since over 8 million people this year are expected to hear the diagnostics of Alzheimer's disease. Developing Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease AD, will cause a person to develop symptoms 25 years after the first stage. If this is true, we can safely say that the disease may be present sooner than most people realize. How does Alzheimer disease develop? Alzheimer develops, since it shrinks the brain tissues, cells, fibers, nerves, etc. The condition is interesting, since it causes a person to shrink back to infancy before it finally claims a life. What is interesting also is that doctors are recently finding that drugs burn out dendrites in the brain, which causes memory loss. Doctors claim genetics as one of the potential causes of Alzheimer disease, yet other causes are unknown. Once Alzheimer symptoms develop, a collection of beta amyloid plague builds up. The clustering will cause damage to the intellectual functions. Once the intellectual functions at the frontal lobe are damaged, it affects the senses and cognitive actions. How many people are estimated to have Alzheimer disease? According to experts, one of two families in America will challenge symptoms of Alzheimer. Presenting more than 4.4 million people in America alone has Alzheimer disease. The estimated rate is supposed to double annually. Each year billions of dollars is spent to treat Alzheimer disease. In the UK, more than 800,000 citizens are diagnosed with Alzheimer disease. The United Kingdom experts say that in the next few years the figure will double. Frighteningly, statistics noted that every two seconds, someone is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. In the world, more than 24 million people are diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. How do doctors consider cause? Geriatrists are experts who study Alzheimer patients. The experts have found that economy, socialism, education, and healthcare play a part in the cause of Alzheimer. Since healthcare insurance is forsakenly priced, elderly people rarely get the treatment they deserve. If the condition is caught early, doctors say that Alzheimer's disease can be cured. Due to selfishness and greed, however, the price of healthcare insurance increases, as well the diseases inflate. The older generation who lack education is subject to Alzheimer's disease, according to experts. That is, if the patient has potential risks, he or she may not be able to take measures to slow Alzheimer's disease. Education is important. What is Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is a series brain disorders. The disease accelerates aging, which can arise from Hutchinson-Gilford, and progeroid syndromes or extend to the disease. At this stage, the patient will lose hair, perhaps weight, etc. The patient is often senile at this point. Hutchinson-Gilford and progeroid causes aging symptoms prematurely to arise. While the disease affects the elder generation, children sometimes develop symptoms that arise from progeroid. Hair loss, wrinkling skin, dry skin, hunchback, and so forth are common symptoms of progeroid. Progeroid conditions will sterilize male reproduction organs and affect the female's reproductive organs, causing menstrual cycles to cease. Hutchinson-Gilford and Werner's syndrome develops early, yet as the person ages, Werner's syndrome develops. Experts blame the disease on DNA and RNA genetic factors. Werner's disease develops into scleroderma, which causes the skin to thicken, harden, and progressively age. Hutchinson-Gilford, Werner's, etc., are linked to Alzheimer's disease. Werner's disease accelerates aging, which can cause lung disease. The condition also can develop into atherosclerosis. What causes Alzheimer disease? Experts are not clear on what causes Alzheimer disease. The disease is a brain destroyer that works by damaging various parts of the brain slowly. Is there a cure for Alzheimer's disease? Experts claim if the disease is caught early, there is a cure. The problem however is due to high costs of insurance, health care, economy, poor education, etc., the disease is rarely caught early. Health and Alzheimer's disease. How health increases risks of Alzheimer's disease, poor health can develop into Alzheimer's disease. 
Experts discovered the heart disease and strokes could develop particular types of dementia, which is Alzheimer disease. In addition, experts have linked Parkinson's disease to Alzheimer. Any disease that wears down the brain functions is subject to cause Alzheimer disease to develop. Parkinson's disease is a progressive degenerative disorder, which sets up deficiencies of the extrapyramidal channels. The deficiency causes dopamine, as well as acetylcholine to decrease, which affects the basal ganglia. The disease can destroy nerve cells, which is a symptom of Alzheimer disease. Head injuries can also develop into Alzheimer disease. Since the brain tissues are damaged, it affects the nerve cells, fibers, blood flow, etc. The condition is in conjunction with Alzheimer symptoms and or cause. How can one prevent Alzheimer disease? Experts tell us that routine exercise, activities, eating proper and so forth will reduce risks of Alzheimer disease. Experts have found that ALC, which is a supplement sold in Europe has proven to decrease risks of Alzheimer disease. The prime health factors doctors focus on is ADRD, i.e. heart disease, strokes, and disease. Experts claim that if risks are reduced it can also reduce the risks of Alzheimer disease. Because mitochondria stores the cellular energy, which is reduced with age, experts found that maintaining balance could help reduce risks of Alzheimer disease. Aging disease is commonly known as mitochondrial disorder. The condition can cause amino acids to deactivate. The acids involve itself in the transporting of fatty acids. The cell that produces energy when deficient will cause a series of disorders in the brain, which increases the risk of Alzheimer disease. Experts have discovered that maintaining a healthy balance of platelets can also reduce risks of Alzheimer disease. Platelets are blood particles that involve in blood clotting. The colorless platelets are shaped like discs. Platelets develop in large bulks in the blood. Recently, experts found that drinking 1 to 3 alcohol drinks weekly could reduce heart disease, strokes, etc., which can also reduce risks of Alzheimer disease. Excessive alcohol consumption however can increase the risks. How does Alzheimer affect the person? Alzheimer can cause the person to lose his or her intellectual functions. The degenerative disease is characterized by a series of disorders. The brain tissues will start to deteriorate. The result causes the brain tissues to collapse. Alzheimer disease AD, affects the nerve tissues. Slowly the disease tears down the brain functions until it arrives at the central nervous system. CNS. The condition causes the patient to become less aware. Senile conditions cause the patient to forget and feel confused. As the disease progresses the patient will have deficient dendrites, mitochondria, and so forth. The condition causes plaque buildup, which the patient will lose microscopic neurofibrillary fibers. At this stage the cell bodies, dendrites, axon, etc., that surround the nerve cells tangle, which channels down to the central nervous system. Experts claim that caring for Alzheimer patients, i.e. it is important to consider neurological disorders, as well as the central nervous system. Experts will thoroughly assess the anatomy and physiology aspects to plan and implement treatment that will assist the patient in stability. How do doctors detect symptoms of Alzheimer? Doctors will review family history to detect Alzheimer disease. Experts include physical exams, diagnostic testing, etc. In addition, experts will identify changeable and non-changing risk factors. Patients with Alzheimer disease often receive treatment that prompts the nerve impulses to continue transmitting messages to the central nerve system and the brain. Education is important, which doctors attempt to inform the patient of his or her condition. In addition, the patient learns how to assist with health care. Down with Alzheimer. How disease cause Alzheimer disease. Particular aging diseases cause the disease Alzheimer. Down syndrome for instance, is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer disease. The illness may develop early, which the symptoms include hair loss, hunchback, etc. As the disease progresses Alzheimer slips in to continue degenerating, the brain tissues. How Alzheimer destroys the brain, Alzheimer disease starts out with mild symptoms. The disease targets the intellectual functions, causing the patient to forget recent events. Alzheimer targets the neuron structure, such as nerve cells, dendrites, axon, nerve impulses, and so forth. As the brain starts to deteriorate, senile tangling causes confusion, which increases memory loss. 
At the progressive stage of Alzheimer, plague builds in the brain. The buildup causes the brain to decrease atomic layers of neurofibrillary. This moves to the degenerative stage, i.e. at an increasing level. The disease will then destroy cell bodies, dendrites and axon, which surround the nerve cells. The disease continues to destroy the brain, which finally the illness reaches the central nervous system CNS, and the spinal cord. Now we have a problem, since the four lobes that rest in the brain are affected. At the front of the brain, the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe and the occipital lobe rest. The frontal and temporal lobes are targeted, since the frontal lobe is where the intellectual functions reside. Personality and motor speech is also at the frontal lobe. The frontal and temporal lobe store recent memories. The purpose of the temporal lobe is to provide us sensations. Before Alzheimer reaches the central nervous system, it affects dendrites. The neurons make up the anatomy of nerve cells, which is the underlying structure of the central nervous system. CNS. CNS relies on dendrites to transmit nerve impulses from nerve cells and cell bodies. The messages reach the nerve endings and the brain. Amidst dendrites are synapses, which dual nerve cells tip the cells and nerve fibers. If the cells touch, messages are sent to the muscles, glands, organs, etc. Neurotransmitters nerve impulses are affected at this time, which also causes an interruption of endorphins, serotonin, acetylcholine, dopamine, gamma-aminobutyric acids, and norepinephrine. At this point, the brain does not receive messages from the bodies of cells and nerve impulses. Once serotonin is deficient, it slows the intellectual functions. The cause of Parkinson's disease is related to deficiencies of acetylcholine and dopamine, which you can now see how the disease can cause the development of Alzheimer's disease as well. The central nervous system is essential. In addition, a healthy spinal cord or column is vital to promote good health. The brain separates into two halves and relies on lobes to promote personality, speech, sensations, etc. If the lobes are challenged, we see that Alzheimer can cause the personality to change, slurring of words, voice change, and so on. Alzheimer strikes out at all the vital functions of the human body and mind, which the disease slowly deteriorates the intellectual functions, cognitive functions, speech, etc. Can a patient recover from Alzheimer disease? Not if the patient did not notice early warning signs and sought medical help immediately. Once the disease develops, it slowly kills the brain. The disease slowly wears down dendrites, brain cells, etc., until finally the muscles are weak. At this stage, the person loses feeling, which pain is obsolete. The sensations, intellectual functions, cognitive functions, etc., are damaged to the point, there is no cure. How do families cope with Alzheimer's disease? It depends on the family. Some families will keep the patient at home, taking care of them. Other families find the disease overwhelming stressing, thus they may allow medical experts to take care of the loved one. Alzheimer's disease is a series of disorders. Alzheimer the series of disorders. Most people believe that Alzheimer disease is a single disorder. What these people do not know is that Alzheimer's disease is a series of disorders. The misunderstanding of Alzheimer disease is noted, since most patients with the disease appear to have healthy bodies, yet their mind is deteriorating. Alzheimer disease may start however with sleep apnea, Parkinson's disease, Down syndrome, heart disease, strokes, sleeping disorders, and so forth. Various medical conditions can link to Alzheimer disease. How does Alzheimer affect the brain? Alzheimer disease damaged vital aspects of the brain. The disease causes damage to the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe once damaged will cause loss of capabilities to recognize people, places, and things. The disease affects the frontal lobe, which causes common symptoms of Alzheimer, such as urinary incontinence. The disease causes facial paralysis on one side or the other. Since personality rests at the frontal lobe, the person's personality may change, as well as his or her behavior. The patient will feel apathy and inattention which results from the damage caused by Alzheimer's disease. The frontal lobe when damaged will also cause broca aphasia, which makes it difficult for a person to communicate fluently. Words are slurred, or the person will find it difficult to express words. The damage also causes the patient to lose the ability to interpret sound. 
Alzheimer damages the lobes, which also causes injury to the temporal lobe, which is above the brain stem. The cerebellum is at the opposite side of the brain stem. Occipital lobe is damaged as well, which causes Wernicke's aphasia. The damage causes the patient to garble when speaking, or lose senses of speech. The frontal and temporal lobe is where recent memories are stored, which is why Alzheimer's affect the short-term memory. How do doctors determine what causes brain degeneration? The brain separates into two halves of its cerebrum, which each side functions differently. For this reason, doctors will consider one side of the brain or the other when searching for damage. The left brain is where our language arrives. If Alzheimer's disease is sending messages to the doctor, i.e. if the patient's language is slurred or interrupted, the expert will review the left brain looking for cause. How do patients manage when the disease progresses? At what time the disease progresses, experts recommend that the patient assigns a proxy, or power of attorney to manage their health care needs, and financial needs. The patient is encouraged to assist the doctor with making good decisions with his or her treatment. Once the disease progresses, comfort is the prime focus of health care. Since doctors do not have a cure that prolongs the condition, keeping the patient as comfortable as possible is essential. Once the disease progresses it is up to the family and proxy to decide if the patient will need additional treatment for pneumonia, which is common when Alzheimer disease progresses. In addition, the family and proxy are responsible to decide if the patient should be fed artificially. Alzheimer patients at progressive stage will dismiss meals. What medications are giving to help the patient? Doctors will prescribe painkillers, as well as rivastigmine, donepazil, antipsychotic drugs, galantamine, etc. to treat the condition. As Alzheimer progresses the patient will hallucinate, and illustrate other symptoms of psychosis. Risperidone, haloperidol, or olanzapine is considered to treat psychotic episodes. How can supplements help the patient? Certain supplements have been proven to enhance memory and prolong Alzheimer symptoms. Doctors consider ginkgo biloba, lecithin, cyclandolate, ALC, ergoloid mesylates, etc. to slow dementia, or Alzheimer's disease. Vitamins, such as B9, B12, E, etc., are considered as well. Conclusion Alzheimer's disease is a series of disorders that causes brain damage. The disease slowly takes over the brain affecting all functions, until finally the disease kills. Doctors will often prescribe paroxetine and or sertraline, which are used to treat depression. Often the patient will respond to the drugs, yet other treatments are considered to prolong Alzheimer's disease progression. The downside, however, is once the disease progresses doctors can do nothing but keep the patient safe and comfortable. Alzheimer disease and dementia is claiming the lives of millions of people around the world. We need to take action now to find its cause. In addition, taking action will help experts learn how they can cease brain damage.